woke up and did my skincare, drink coffee. Now I'm trying to decide what to do for the day. So I put up on my Instagram asking what people wanted to see from me on my YouTube channel. Two things that I got a lot of were what I got for Christmas and then like vision board planning and goals for the new year. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like time just passes by me so fast and then now Christmas is over and I didn't even get to put up my decorations until like the 12th. I feel like with the new year and resolutions, I get left behind sometimes because I just like don't set aside a time to plan for the year and plan out my goals, my resolutions that I want to follow. Not letting that happen this year, if you haven't done it yet and you're watching this video, you should do it as well. I think it's just so important to like set an intention for the new year and stay focused on like what your goals are, what you're wanting to achieve or else the year can pass you by and you didn't really achieve much and nothing in your life changed. So I just want to set myself up for success in 2023 and do a little goal planning and vision board making. I also have to talk about what I got for Christmas because I know people are really interested in that. So I'll do a whole haul of my Christmas stuff. But before any of that, I think I'm going to go on a walk and then probably do a little workout and eat some breakfast. Currently wearing this aloe top, it's really cute. And then I'll show you my pants. Favorite flared yoga pants, these are from Aritzia. If you don't have flared yoga pants, you should get some because I feel like they're just very flattering. Well, these are like their buttery fabric and I love them. Now let's go on a walk. up the camera I was just doing some work stuff for a while and I ended up showering so one thing I did get for Christmas is the Dyson air app specifically so that when I shower I can like quickly curl and do my hair after but I really need to go to the grocery store so I don't think I'm gonna do that yet I think I'm gonna do it when I get back and I can kind of show you guys how I've been doing it but I'm gonna run to the grocery store to get some ingredients for a new recipe I'm making today and then also some other random groceries that we need so I'll give you guys a haul when I get back. I also wanted to show you what we just got in the mail. I'm so excited. So I have been looking for a new TV stand forever because we just have these cubes and they're honestly a mess right now because we moved some of the bins into the other room. I finally bought my dream TV stand from Target actually. Only like Target and Home Depot and a couple other stores ship here so we have limited options but once Chris is done building it, I'll show you the whole thing and we'll put it under the TV. But oh my gosh, you can already see it's like this arched cane design. Like these are the doors and I'm very excited about these. But now I'm gonna go run to the store. I'll give you guys a haul and then we're gonna do an actual Christmas haul because I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and I got some stuff for my recipe and then some things we've just been needing as well. So I got some hummus because I've been loving just keeping a hummus in the fridge to eat with like some pita or pita chips. Some tomatoes because I love topping my avocado toast with it. And then some avocados for avocado toast, some more bananas for smoothies, smoothie bowls. And then I got this spinach for my recipe. Pretty much everything else is for the recipe. So like I said, I'm making like a chickpea curry. So I got some chickpeas, coconut milk, limes. These aren't for the recipe, but I feel like I just always need fresh lemon in the house. And then I got an onion for the curry, some cilantro. And then of course these drinks because they're my favorite. Now I'm gonna go air out my hair and I'll kind of show you guys how I do that. And then we'll get into my Christmas haul. Okay, really quick, I heated up this creamy lemon pasta for lunch. I posted the recipe on my Instagram yesterday and it is so good. 
actually takes like 15 minutes to make because pastas are just always quick and really easy and I feel like they're a bit underrated like we always eat pasta because it's just so much easier to make but yeah this is very good simple delicious and you guys should try it I'll leave the link for you guys if you want to give it a try before I start air wrapping I'm gonna use this heat protectant spray so I just spray it all over my hair also just to let you know this is literally my second time that I'm gonna be doing it because I just got it and it might not turn out that great but we'll see the first time it turned out okay but I think I just need to get a little bit better I'm just gonna start with this smoothing brush so you just run it through your hair to kind of like smooth over any bumps Now that it's dried and smoothed down a bit more, I'm going to switch to a barrel, I think it's called. Using this side, I think it's the smaller one. By the way, everything I learned is from this girl on TikTok and Instagram. Her name is Olivia Dayton and she just has like the best hair tutorials and so... Also, sorry if you can hear a rooster, it's like going off right now. Um. But yeah, everything I learned is from Olivia. She has like Dyson tutorials and stuff so I feel like after watching hers, I feel a little bit more confident in what I'm doing with this. I'm just gonna start by wrapping each piece around it, holding it on heat for 10 seconds, and then cold for 10 seconds. I just finished air wrapping my hair, and now I'm gonna spray this hairspray in it. It's from Bumble and Bumble. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some hair oil and just like run it through my hair with my hands. Using this hair oil from Gizu, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this one either. But they just sent me some of their products, and I love them all so much so far. Just doing the ends of my hair to make it a little less dry. Here is the finished product. Like I said, I totally need more practice. It definitely has a bit of a learning curve, but I think once I get it, I will be very happy with how my hair turns out. And if anything, it just kind of looks like a blowout. It doesn't really like curl my hair that much, but I love how it just kind of like smooths it down and curls the ends. Now I'm gonna do my makeup and then coming back for a Christmas haul. Okay, finally Christmas haul time. So I should have like set aside my Christmas stuff just for this because I've, I feel like I've already like put everything away in my house and I'm definitely missing some of my Christmas presents. But that's okay, I'll just show you guys what I have. Some of the stuff is also like in my car. Chris has my car right now and he's surfing, so whatever. I'll try and remember everything I got, but I'll show you the things I have with me now. My brother-in-law got me this surfboard fin, which is amazing. I did not ask for this. He just like picked it out for me and I'm obsessed he said he wasn't even planning on getting me this but then when he saw it he like felt like he needed to get it for me which was so true and I also love that it is a bigger size than my normal fin because it'll change the way that my board rides a little bit which will be fun to like switch off and try on different waves just a moment for this beautiful fin Next, my mom got me this little recipe book from Target, obviously. <laughs> mom got me just a pair of plain black Lululemon leggings because who doesn't need a pair of just plain black leggings sometimes? So the next couple of things were things that I picked out and then I basically gave them to Chris and I'm like, okay, wrap them for me and give them to me, so. I feel like I have so many bikinis, but not a lot of them are like actually that great for surfing. And so I was like, I am investing in a good surf bikini where I get minimal tan lines like it's small but it's comfortable and it stays on so like if I get hit my top isn't falling off all the time literally the perfect swimsuit for this this Miko swimsuit that I found I just think the pattern is so cute I feel like brown is very flattering for me I just know this is going to be my go-to surfing swimsuit for like the next few months until I completely wear it out because that's what's going to happen then I went crazy at Sephora again gave it to Chris to wrap for me so I got a bunch of eye patches I was influenced and bought this Charlotte Tilbury contour powder and so far I think it's amazing I am wearing it right now if you can see it and I just bought this Sephora it's called a blush brush but uh, the guy told me it's good for contour so I got a new brush finally gave in and got this Brazilian bum bum cream I feel like I've seen everyone using this 
I love it so far. I think the smell is so good. And this glow recipe toner, it's their watermelon glow drops. I literally see everyone post about this all the time and how it makes their skin just like so glowy before putting on makeup. I got this shampoo scrubber. I just wanted it to get a little bit deeper into my scalp when I shampoo my hair because sometimes I feel like it just doesn't get cleansed enough. As you guys saw earlier, I got the Dyson Airwrap. This was like my big present of the year. Basically like the only thing I told Chris too, like I didn't give him much direction in what I wanted. Like I said, I'm still learning how to use it, but I know that I'm gonna get to a point where I'm like, this is the best and I love it so much. This is massive, but I got an air fryer, finally. I see a million air fryer recipes and I have not been able to participate in the whole air fryer thing. So I'm so excited that we got one. Another big present we got that I actually bought for Chris, I got him a Vitamix. He's been using like a Vitamix dupe from Amazon for the last three years and it's pretty crappy. Like the handle on the plunger broke. Vitamix already is just so much better it blends so much faster and it's just a lot more powerful there's a couple things i got that i don't have with me so i'll just show you pictures of it i hope you can see this but i got this blue umbrella from business and pleasure and it's so cute i got this little surf suit from sia i think you pronounce it it's basically like rash guard material but in shorts form and you guys know i love my shorts when i'm surfing it's just nice to not have to worry about like straddling a board and like getting hit by waves getting your swimsuit messed up also i should have said this at the beginning but i'm just gonna say like i literally feel so grateful and happy that i was able to get all of this i definitely considered like whether or not i should do a haul because sometimes you see other people's hauls and you compare yourself and i've definitely done that with other people but like i really tried to only pick out things that I know I'll actually use and need. I'm gonna go make my recipe video and I will show you guys that recipe when I'm done. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. What day is it? Friday. It's Friday? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I was gonna make my new recipe for Instagram and then Chris had my car and I didn't have some of the ingredients I needed so I couldn't make that. I just like was not in the mood to vlog yesterday. Like I just could not pick up my camera. I did not want to make a video. Um, I feel like there's definitely just days where I like don't want to pick up a camera. I don't want to film myself. I feel like not very good about myself or I'm just in a bad mood all day and so yesterday was one of those days I just like wasn't having a very good day and so I was like I'm gonna put off my vision board and goal setting for the new year until tomorrow when I feel a little bit better so feeling a lot better today I'm feeling super motivated like you saw we went on our morning walk and then I think we're actually going to do a morning workout we're gonna do Sammy Clark workout I always get Chris to do them with me because her workouts are just so good and with enough weight like they're 100% enough for him to do then I think I'll just eat some breakfast and get ready for the day and then we can get into our vision board planning goal setting all of that but yes I just needed a little break from vlogging for a day but now I'm back ready for it Any minimal amount of roll it up that booty really get low but you don't bring those in two in 15 seconds right here in one switch that leg okay just put on like a tiny bit of makeup and got ready a little bit because we're gonna make a video of us putting our new tv stand under our tv it's so cute um i will probably just show the video on here too and this TV stand is from Target. I'll definitely leave the link in the caption for you guys if you guys want to get it. It's like my dream TV stand. I've been like wanting a new one for so long. So very excited about this. Okay, we just set it up. I kind of just made it cute for the video. I don't think we'll actually leave like the plant there and stuff because we have to put our speaker there and then our soundbar there, but I seriously love it so much. 
I'm looking at my Christmas tree. I'm just kind of like ready to get it out of here, but I'm gonna wait until after New Year's because we took so long to actually put it up. But yeah, this is just from Target and it's such good quality. I am very excited. Okay, I just made this blueberry smoothie that I make all the time. Now I want to sit down and set some goals for 2023. I want to go into the year knowing like what to expect, what I'm going to do. But I also wanted to kind of reflect on this year, what went well and like what I want to continue doing in 2023. So before we do that, I'm going to light some Palo Santo. Thank you, Sammy, for sending me this. I'm actually going to change my shirt really quick. One second. Okay, I just changed into this little Skims bodysuit and I decided to kind of make a list of my reflection of 2022 to start. So I made a list of everything that I felt like I did well this year and like my achievements and everything. And then I made a list of what I can improve on and like what I want to start doing more of in 2023. So a few of the things that I said I did well, I, I graduated college this year, which was a huge achievement for me. I found the career path that I wanted to go on. There's like habits that I feel like I've done well on this year. One of them being like morning walks I've gone on morning walks lots and lots of times. I've spent a lot of time outside, which is like always a goal of mine because I feel like it just puts me in a better mood to get some sun. I feel like I ate pretty healthy this year and not even just healthy, but balanced. Like I allow myself to eat what I want to eat instead of like restricting myself. And I feel like I found a good balance of that this year when in previous years maybe I didn't have as healthy eating habits or I was a little bit too restrictive with myself. Things I want to improve on, so I made a list of these things. Um, one, my workout routine. I feel like with being gone, traveling a lot, like my workouts have been very sporadic and just not consistent enough to, I guess, make it a habit. So it's like every workout I do, I feel like I'm just like, forcing myself to do it and I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be like this habit that I just know I'm gonna do and I wanna enjoy it. Less phone in the morning. I've improved on this a lot since I got my hatch alarm clock. I've kind of talked about it, how like I leave my phone outside of my room now, but I could still get better. Like this morning, I think I did an hour before I touched my phone and I feel amazing. I wanna finish my house decorating and renovating. Like you guys, I'm sure always see there's like dings on our walls and I wanna like replace some of our furniture. And so we've slowly been doing that, but I wanna like actually finish it this year and just like get it out of the way. Sunday resets. I really want to get more into Sunday resets. I feel like for a while I was doing it and then I just fell off the wagon and on Sundays now I just like to lay around and do nothing. Last thing I think I could improve on is meal prepping. Again, I want to do this on Sundays or like Mondays and not even like prepping meals, but just prepping ingredients for meals so that throughout the week I have things ready to make. Now that I kind of reflected on my 2022, I want to get into 2023 and start like making actual goals of like the things that I want to improve on. I'm going to split my goals into three categories. So I'm going to do like work and business goals and then health and wellness goals and just like my personal goals, like things I want to improve on that don't really have to do with like my health or anything like that. Now that I have these goals in mind, I'm going to start on my vision board. I don't know if I'm going to finish it right now because my family's at the beach and they want us to come join them, but I'm going to start that and I can actually show you guys my 2022 vision board I made a year ago and it is very accurate actually. Like everything I put on my board or things that happened this year. Okay, so this is last year's vision board. Um, I feel like this is what my year looks like. So based around health and wellness, traveling, surfing, and all of that stuff. Okay, now that I've like kind of laid the groundwork for my vision board and I've made my goals, I reviewed my year, I'm going to sit here and actually make it and just scroll through Pinterest, put the pictures together, and then I'll show you guys the result. Okay, like I've said a million times, my family's here. They want us to come to the beach, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna finish my vision board later. I started on it a little bit. I was just gonna show you guys what I'm wearing right now. Just ignore the clothes in the background, but this tank top is from H&M. 
These Levi shorts are from Amazon. I just got them and they're very nice quality. They're like a little bit tighter than I wanted them to be. Like I think just high-waisted things now make me feel kind of claustrophobic. I don't know. <laughs> this new swimsuit from Miko. And yeah, we're gonna go chill at the beach for a few hours. I'll come back, finish my vision board, and show you guys how it turns out. Okay, we're driving to the beach and then decided to grab some sushi. The store that we get it from literally has the best store about sushi I've ever had. Like, it's just as good as restaurant sushi. Everyone who's had it will agree, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, Chris agrees. Yeah, it's so good. p.m. and me and Chris have been planning our vision boards together on a Friday night but I finally finished mine um, and I wanted to show you guys what I put on mine and kind of explain it so this is my vision board for 2023 um, I tried to make it based off the goals that I talked about earlier and then also some other extra things that I just kind of want to bring into the new year and have happened so I feel like some of these images are a bit dark because my camera just like isn't really focusing well but I'll be posting this on my Instagram and possibly my TikTok so you guys can go look at it there if you want. But this picture of a house for the goal of finishing our house and then I did some like veggies and healthy food for healthy eating for the year my five minute journal so that I will continue to do journal every day and then a few travel pictures. I think we might possibly go to Italy this year so I put one there for that travel and then just a plane for whatever other travel we go on. Put a picture of a couple for my relationship. Lots of self-care, working out, and also surfing pictures because I really want to improve on my surfing this year and get into some bigger waves, be able to nose ride eventually. And then some water because one of my goals is to drink more water. Skincare to continue doing my skincare routine. The middle says I'm creating the life of my dreams. I feel like that's just kind of what I want my theme for 2023 to be. Like I'm creating the life that I want to live and what I've always wanted. I feel like in 2022, a lot of big things happened for me and I'm just like ready to make 2023 my best year yet. So I spent like hours on this and I'm really happy about how it turned out. I'm gonna set it as like my computer background and my phone screen background. I'll probably make a smaller one for that, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna go to bed. I'm really tired. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve and then it's the new year and this video should be coming out on January 1st so you guys can watch me plan all of this and set my goals so hopefully this video has been motivating to you guys. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Thank you so much for being here to support my YouTube channel. Can't tell you enough how much it means to me. Thank you so much for all of your comments, likes. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I hope you guys have a great new year. You start off strong and I will see you next video. Bye.